If you were looking at making some homemade gifts to give to co-workers or family members, hopefully this video will help you out. One mixture, two recipes, and there are some really cute principles for you too. And then I've got some ideas from two past recipes. My name's Tara, and I'm a professional baker from South Africa. I've made some crazy, weird, and wonderful cakes in my time. And now I hope to pass those skills on to you as I bake, make, and create with the Super Moms Club. The next two episodes are going to be dedicated to Christmas treats. I think after making those cute little treat boxes on Wednesday, I really wanted some ideas to fill them with. Remember that you can grab those two freebies from this video card. They are available for free only until next week Sunday. And then if you are interested in buying any of those sets, there is a discount coupon code at the end of this video. Now I know this time of year gets super expensive, so if you were looking at making some homemade gifts to give to co-workers or family members. Hopefully this video will help you out. Today we are going to be making some treats for adults and then next week we'll make some for the kids. Today's recipe is a two-in-one, date balls and chocolate snowballs. One mixture, two recipes and there are some really cute printables for them too. And then I've got some ideas from two past recipes the chocolate truffles with this really cute Christmas printable that's completely free and icebox cookies that also have a free printable. As always, all of the links are in the description so you can grab them from there. And for today's recipe, these are the ingredients. 250 grams of chopped dates, a cup of white sugar, 125 grams of margarine or butter, four cups of Rice Krispies, some desiccated coconut for coating, and for the snowballs variation, a 75 gram tub of glazed cherries and roughly 200 grams of melted white chocolate. My mom makes these for us every Christmas. This is her recipe from donkeys years ago. And then I added this little variation to them to completely Christmas them out. So half the recipe will make the date balls and then the other half will make the chocolate snowballs. And everything is mixed in a pot, which makes it super easy. So all you need to do is place the chopped dates, sugar and butter in a medium sized pot on the stove. Bring it to the boil on a medium to high heat stirring frequently until it's smooth and well combined. Then remove the mixture from the stove and allow it to cool for about five minutes. So to make these two variations, I am going to divide this mixture into two parts. It is roughly 275 grams of mixture, so I'll weigh that out. And then add half of the Rice Krispies into each pot and add the cherries into the snowballs mixture. And then you can give each mixture a mix with a wooden spoon until all the Rice Krispies are nicely coated and then we can start to shape them into little balls. Your mixture may be a little bit hot so be careful when you are handling it. But what I usually do to make the balls is measure out about 10 grams or so of the mixture. It's probably about a tablespoonful and then just give it a really good squish, kind of like squishing a stress ball and then keep rolling it in your palms until it forms a nice round ball. Repeat with both mixtures until all the balls are rolled. For the date balls, all you need to do is roll them in the desiccated coconut until they're coated, and then for the snowballs, melt your white chocolate, coat them gently by rolling them in it using a teaspoon, and then pop them straight into the desiccated coconut and roll until they're coated. Place them on some parchment paper to set and dry, and then grab the free printable labels and gift them out. Super easy and a really yummy Christmas treat. So now for the truffles. If you missed that video, you can grab the link in this card, and then you can get the printable from the link in the description, cut it out and gift out your truffles. For the icebox cookies, you can also grab the link for the recipe in the description, and then roll out half of your dough into a cylinder, roughly 13 to 14 centimeters long, and cover it with an A4 size piece of parchment paper. Print the printable and then place it over the cylinder, tying each end with some pretty ribbon. I hope that these Christmas treats have inspired you to maybe make your own homemade gifts this year. Remember to grab this little printable while it's still for free until next week Sunday. And then for those of you that are wanting to buy some of the boxes, here is that voucher code that I told you about earlier. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it. Until Wednesday when I see you for our Christmas crafts, take care and God bless.